the idea of the show was to kind of represent what I do as an artist through some key examples of works from the last 15 years. When you walk in the gallery, immediately to your left and right, there's these corner pieces. It's a split zero form, which is connected um, through two ropes, all cast in bronze, but one projects out from the corner and one kind of nestles into the corner. They essentially behave like structural brackets. You start to read them like they have a psychology to them, but they also have a structural implication. Included in the show is something called the index piece, which has been worked on for the last couple of years in the studio in Burbank. That's a work that encapsulates 23 individual pieces which make up a kind of collective sampling of different ways that I've worked as a, as a sculptor. So some of those pieces are test pieces. Some of them are like extra elements that I cast if I'm working on a piece. Having this index and having different forms of work made it possible for me to think about including finished sculptures that also referenced different ways of working. You can sort of experience what I do and what separates the kind of work I make from a sort of mainstream perception of what sculpture is. My relationship to working in, in the material of bronze is both one of, it's been like 15 years now, and it's still a material that I find nourishing. I, I don't feel like I've exhausted its possibilities. The way I work with the material or the way I participate with it every day is more like how one would participate with clay in their studio or, or even painting. It's like a daily participation with putting it together, re-rendering it. In a sense, there are these really intense drawings. The spirit piece is an important one in the show because the subject is this wall level or a spirit level and maybe the, one of the most necessary tools both for an artist to, to make and realize things, or a carpenter for that matter. But also it's so familiar in the installation of art, and specifically painting. Adding the shells to it was such a strange decision, and one that I felt like I had to realize with some pace before I took myself out of it. But it's not uncommon in my practice that disparate elements are combined to create a sort of third object or a third object experience. Chair composition one and two were made in response to each other like a conversation, the way they're installed in the gallery. They're playful objects, they're compositional objects. The junction line where the two objects meet is almost pronounced, you can imagine air blowing through it. That, to me, is common in a lot of my works where, despite how set the works are, there's still this idea that parts could be removed and reconfigured. It hopefully operates a psychology of a composition that just happens to be paused. A lot of the pieces with the ropes do something similar, like bracket, the work installed on the front wall. The two bent cane elements that are attached to it are attached with tethered pieces of rope, which just kind of honors how it was composed by chance in the studio. The fact that you're looking at it and you know it's, it's all bronze and it's these parts, but the fact that they're knots rather than bolts, there's still something suggestive of the fact that they, it can be undone as easily it was, as it was put together. It's part of the open-ended nature of the object, but I think it's also physical evidence of its own composition. I kind of wanted the viewer to imagine all the disparate sculptures and drawings in the show as components that make up the practice. So components, the show is a way for kind of me to advocate for a broader nature of what I do or what the language is within the studio. When we visited Richard Tuttle in a show he had in New York last year, he said a lot of amazing things, but one thing he said was, each of these sculptures have a job to do. <laughs> and I thought it was amazing. Every artwork has its own job to do, but to think of the sculptures and, and as having a different job to do is, is one way I've started to kind of think about them.